Uh, whoa, okay. I thought I was following the right wall. I was, okay. Uh, how did we miss that door with the E on it? This is the stairwell. Uh, before I change floors, I just want to explore everything. If you had to try to survive any level in this game in real life, what would it be? Oh, fuck. Which would be the most fun to just run out and explore? Like the other world side of? Well, I'd probably die in any situation. Uh, that's weird. In my in my teenage years, I used to actually go explore this tuberculosis hospital that's nearby. That's so abandoned, and there's like uh, documents and papers. And Heather is very hurt right now. There's like documents and patients' names and stuff in little rooms. And they had a mental ward, and then they had. Uh, it was very cool, and then you could get up to the roof if you break one of the windows. I used to do that when I was a teenager. Uh, if I could go to any level in Silent Hill, any of the Silent Hills or three? Why not both? Um, oh, this is a trap room. Oh, God. oh, there's ample right there, though. I just saw it on the table. Uh, the amusement park might be really fun from this game. The amusement park and uh, the Hilltop Center is terrifying. I feel like that would be terrifying in real life. Oh, I like this. There are a lot of things stuck to this wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? A key, a beetle. I spy a spoon, a cookie. There's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Hey, Stanley. Three, but any game really. Um... I feel like an, uh, the concept of an abandoned amusement park is really cool, plus if it's in Silent Hill. That'd be fun. Uh, I, love the, I love the theme park, actually, because uh, the haunted house, like, too, the Borley Haunted Mansion is fun to walk through. The organization has shut me up in here. The organization? Who's he talking about? The organization? He could just be being crazy. Shut me up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with these lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You could peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. Oh my god. <laughs> but why haven't you taken a, my doll with you? Ah, uh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Does she react to this doll? It's kind of disgusting. I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Okay. Well, you have a 3 foot pole. Uh, that's the. No, oh, that's not the stairwell. Okay. So there's one trap room. It's not worth the amp pole getting hurt that much, I don't think. Uh, we aren't really on normal. I want to get up. I want to get up to the hospital um, puzzle because I don't remember exactly how to do it, but it'll be fun to figure it out. Uh, that's the stairwell. I, I remember there's a door over here with E on it. Oh, E probably stood for the fucking elevator, Chris. <laughs> get the hell out of here. The basement, nice. The basement is, uh, where Stanley actually ends up. Well, let's go up the stairs. The stairs probably don't work. The stairs are broken. It's locked, yeah. Okay, I thought so. Let's go to floor two. Are they broken in Silent Hill 2 also? I feel like there's a... No. No, you can use the stairs and pop out and there's two nurses on floor two. That, uh, fuck you and Maria up. I notice whenever I replay Silent Hill 2, Maria dies a lot fucking more often than I remember her. Now she has a hissy fit and lays down in the hospital bed. Uh, it's probably enemies. Let's let's be on our best behavior. 
wish the camera would be on its best behavior. I don't hear any enemies, though. This is such a creepy place. Yeah, I'd go to the amusement park, actually, because, uh... I love the Robbie the Rabbits that are just lying around. It's a fashion magazine. There's some kind of memo stuck to it. Extra costume password. Touch my heart. What does that mean? <laughs> wow, she actually responded. What does that mean? I got nail polish remover. I got perfume. There's nothing else of interest in the locker. The locker is closed tightly. I can't seem to get it open. What, what else does she have in there? Looks like a bag. It looks like a picture of a, a male model. Uh, that kind of looks like a skirt. I don't know what that is. And... A hairspray and like a tub of something. Anything else in here, Heather? I didn't... I didn't know they gave out the passwords just like that. Which one is the touch my heart? That's not princess heart, is it? I think you actually just have to type in princess heart to get it. elevator okay so the patient rooms is where they want us to go where is the keypad puzzle oh okay, Coleman fucking Coleman nice you may not have realized your own true feelings but you sense them uncon unconsciously and so you're trying to get closer to me that's a virtue the path to paradise if the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers wouldn't would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Mr. Coleman. Okay. There's a typewritten memo posted here. What's it supposed to mean? Yeah, this this is so creepy. Okay. I love this puzzle. Pure eyes, blue like a glassy bead. You're always looking at me, and I'm always looking at you. Ah, you're too meek. Beautiful, unspoiled. Thus I am so sad, I suffer, and so happy it hurts. I want to hurt you and destroy myself. What, What you would think if you knew how I felt. Would you simply smile, not saying a word? Even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. I place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss. Then I suddenly shove my thumb deep in your eye socket. Abruptly, decisively, like drilling a hole. And what would it feel like? Like jelly? Trembling with ecstasy. I obscenely mix it around and around. I must taste the warmth of your blood. How would you scream? Would you shriek? It hurts, it hurts. Like as cinnabar red tears stream from your crushed eye. You can't know the maddening hunger I felt in the midst of our kisses. So many of them I've lost count. As though drinking in your cries, I bring my hopes to fruition. Biting your tongue, shredding it, biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick. Oh, what euphoric heights I would reach! Having my desires fulfilled like a greedy, gluttonous cur. I longed, too, for your cherry-tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. I would surely be healed and would cry like a child. And how is your tender ear? It brushes against my cheek. I want it to creep up to my lips so that I can sink my teeth into its flesh. Your left ear, always hearing words, whispered sweet, whispered sweet as pie. And I want to hear my true feelings. I, love, I never lied, no, but I did have my secrets. Ah, but what must you think of me? Do you hate me? Are you afraid? As though inviting you to the agony at the player's end? If you wish, you could destroy me. I wouldn't care. As you wish, you may destroy me. I wouldn't care. Okay. That is our puzzle. And that is, like, the worst thing I've ever read. <laughs> um, the solution is you have to figure out... In relating this keypad to a face, that's how you learn the numbers. Um, so, like, one, it would be an eye then the nose, the uh, bridge, then the other eye, 
I, I think it's cheek, nose, cheek, and then ear, mouth, ear. Or is it, I think, no, this is the ears. Four and six are the ears, and then the cheek is, I'm picturing it more cartoony. It's an ugly face, by the way. Did you find any pros or cons about the gold and silver pipes? Uh, no. Uh, I think they do the same damage, honestly. Uh, it says that the gold pipe is weak. I wonder. I wonder how much. Okay, so I have to. I have to relate to what he. Because he crushed. He crushed the girl's eye. But everything else he ate. I place my left hand on your face. So my left hand would be her right side of her face. I suddenly shove my thumb deep in your eye socket. Okay, so that is... It's saying that the eye, the left... Her right eye is crushed. But then he licks the tears streaming on her cheek. Trembling with ecstasy. As cinnabar red tears stream from your crushed eye. So the tears are going down to the cheek. And... Drinking in your cries. Okay. So her right... Her right cheek would be my left. And then he bites at the tongue, so that's eight. So it'd be seven or nine, then eight. Seven, nine, seven or nine, eight. And then cherry tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. And chili cry. Uh, seven or nine, then eight. I sink my teeth into its flesh. Uh, her left ear. Which would be... How does a keypad look? Four or six? Are you afraid? Okay. Let me look at the keypad again. What would it feel like? Like jelly? Biting your tongue, shredding it. Cherry tinted cheeks. How is your ear? Your left ear. Maybe we could try it. just to move this stream along. The cheeks are down there. The cheeks are seven and eight. Four, four, eight, nine, six. 
Oh, I was getting the cheeks and the ear mixed up. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> okay, I love that puzzle though. That and the Shakespeare puzzle are really cool. Uh, the tarot card puzzle is pretty cool too. Watch this block. Block! Nope. <laughs> yeah, watch that. Do it again, do it again. Nice! Whoa, she has a fucking gun. I need you to die, and then I need to start attacking your friend before she fucking shoots me again. Which nerf says do you like better, Erica? And Pablo, if you've played uh, two games with nursing nurses on it, nursing in it. <laughs> he says he's doing all right, just got off work and a chillax long day. Nice. Is Pablo making that money? I think this is where he dropped Maria off, if I'm not mistaken. Please don't be a trap room. Please be a supply room. Please be nice. Okay, this is, uh, nice. Okay. I don't, is that annoying? Um, probably it's very annoying. Yeah, I, I really like the bubble heads too. Let me turn down the, uh, game volume. Aw, thank you, Pablo. <laughs> okay, so it is 10, almost 25, uh, 23, 20, 23, it is 10, 23. Oh, I have the option to turn off the fucking alarm. Let me turn the game volume back up. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but those are two raccoons fighting outside my window. Oh, God. All right, it's 10, 23. Uh, on hard... The solution to the puzzle is actually military time, and that's the hardness of it. So it'd be... 10.23 plus 12 is 22.23. Nice. An instant camera. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. There's nothing else interesting in the Ache case. Uh, is this all that's in this room? What is what what happened here? What else is in the Ache case? It looks like there's tissues, a notebook, a drink on the bedside table. Uh, what's is that a book? What book is that? I'm trying to look in the actual suitcase. Okay. Yeah, I really like the design of the bubblehead nurse. And so does everybody else. <laughs> oh god. There's a first aid kit. I I I kinda won't run in the um the room with the ampoule, which heals you fully, but I will run into the one with the first aid kit. How are we doing on health? Ah, fuck you guys. Some nurses. Maybe eat my beef jerky. I love beef jerky, guys. Uh, you crack open some beef jerky in a movie theater, next thing you know, everybody's asking you for a piece. You just paid like seven bucks for this fucking shit. There's a small man's corpse. Uh, wait, it's not a small man. It's just a regular man. Corpse laid out on the stretcher. Its hand is sticking out of the sheet. It has something written on it. Yeah, doesn't he have a tattoo? You're not gonna read what the tattoo says? Is that corpse also in Silent Hill 2? There's a man's corpse laid out on the sheet. Well, read the sheet. There we go. The start time is my key. Okay. That's a dumb tattoo. <laughs> There's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background. Unknown. Unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room... 
uh, M4 at Chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed cardioid or artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or cor corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. That was the clock room. We we did that. Okay. We also got a instant camera. That's what we got. Ooh, that's dark. Hey, Aaron, dude! I'm so glad you're doing the hard puzzle mode. I've only played through once in normal mode. Really? Oh, Erica, dude, there is this um, there is this puzzle. I wish I wish you uh, I wish I told you about the stream, honestly. <laughs> My bad. There's this puzzle that actually has to do with the Shakespeare books. It's probably one of the like it like well written riddles I've ever seen in a horror game. It's really cool. Uh, you you have to know a bit about Shakespeare, and you have to like it's it's written so cool. L look it up if you can. It's just called the Shakespeare Puzzle. Uh, let's see before we get lost. So we unlocked that door. M4, we got the camera. And we can check the nurse's station. Cool. Oh, more nurses spawned. Uh, that one has a fucking gun. Oh god, there's more. Come here, you little fuck. You little fuck boy. I have to imagine the katana is stronger than the pipe, right? She has a gun, and I need to get out of the way. Oh god, there's another one. She just pistol whipped me. Uh, guys, can you guys decide um, which Silent Hill should I play next? Uh, I was thinking either two or four. I probably kn I know a lot more about two than four, but uh, and, th and then I'm eventually gonna play one. I think I know the least about one. Wait, what? Did she? I think she went behind me and like walked away. Okay, nurses station though. Is this door right here? Can't go in. Okay. Is the staircase unlocked on this floor? No. We're down to the elevator. Uh, my health is hurt, but I think I'm gonna save it and use a first aid kit when I can. Uh, oh, you know what? Since we're on extra, extra new game plus, I should say. Uh, there's a hidden options menu. I think if you beat the game. Uh, I I guess I don't know how to get to it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. Uh, but that's another like weird thing in the game. You can actually turn on a health bar, and oh, you know what else I learned about two would be nice. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll play two guys. Aw. <laughs> uh, I also just learned that in Silent Hill One, if you beat the game, you can unlock first person mode, and I was like, what? So I'd be interested to check that out after I beat one. Um, I'll try. <laughs> the f I'll try something in first person mode. Uh, let's go to floor three. Three does not work. Let's go to the basement. Does the basement work? No. So only one and two work. Oh, you know what? Okay, I have to go get the key from the nail polish remover, and that probably unlocks the uh, staircase. Yeah. Right first person mode in a Silent Hill game like and, and especially in the first Silent Hill game like what on earth does that look like uh yeah I'll probably um I'll probably play one through four uh no you know what I'll also play origins because I know a lot of people don't have like access to play origins and origins I will vouch for it it is a cool it is a very cool game it's made by um it's made by an American team, so it's not made by Team Silent, but you know what? They tried and they, they got they got a general feel for it. It's not 
you know, it's not as good as one through four, but it's my favorite uh, Mountain Team Silent one. That's the stairwell key. All right, oh, we're gonna do, okay, let's slowly walk out of here. Let's do a backflip in this guy's fucking hospital room. There's more nurses, I can hear them. How's the uh, how's the game audio, guys? Can you guys hear everything okay? I'll, I'll bump it up a little bit. There. Tell me how that sounds. Alright, so now we are in the stairwell. Let's check out floor three. The floors that we haven't been to are three and the basement. I know there's something we do in the basement uh, that we use the instant camera for. Oh, we can also go to the roof. Let's see what three has. I'm also still hurt. Everything's perfect. Oh, thank you. Okay. Ooh. Where does this go? Oh. Okay. There's a memo on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. It look, this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Yeah, so there's a little side story between Christy and the chief. In one of these rooms is a nurse patient... In one of these rooms is a nurse being punished for something, and the doctor is a pervert. Uh, I'll I'll go more into that when I remember what uh, what that little side story is there. More Stanley. All right, love Stanley. Flowing freely your ebony hair. What? Oh, huh. Like the night sky, scattering fragrance. I'm reacting like that because Heather's natural hair color is black. But how would Stanley Coleman know that? Scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed. My breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me, should have never gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. Was he quoting a poem in those first few lines? But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand in, on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Stanley Coleman is so good at being so creepy. Uh, anything in this room cool? Hey, we can see the ceiling. In one of these rooms is a nurse. I'm trying to remember what the nurse and the doctor side story was. It's unlocked. I think this is the room. This this is implied to be Christy. Yeah. What are you doing in here? That's implied to be the nurse in the note. Uh, let's see. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. That's where she is right now. This missile policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out as it comes. Uh, we got a lot of rooms. Nice. Save point, and, uh... Ooh. She's looking at stuff. Nice. Oh, we could use some first, uh, first aid kit sprays. Uh, first aid sprays. Nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. There's a good variety, but nothing I would need. Good variety, but nothing I would need. Uh, let, does she react to the save point? No, she's done reacting. I think. Unless it's in an uh, obscure place to her. I think she's starting to understand who she is. Alright, more Stanley dudes. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I've never lost sight of you. 
I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these ha hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head, not just in this hospital, but I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Stanley Coleman. It's it's so creepy because he's implied it's implied that he's moving around leaving these books, like freely moving around the hospital too. Uh what's that poster say? Nothing. Uh let's heal our girl. She's throbbing. My controller. Uh let's go this way. That's the elevator. Doesn't work on this floor. Uh, what did she say? Nothing. Yeah, okay. Uh, we gotta go to the patient wing. It's locked. Oh, okay. Another fucking keypad. Okay, uh, this one's in the basement, though. Super easy. Uh, there's also a scene in the basement. I wonder if that uh, has to do with Christy and the doctor. I wonder if that's the thing I'm talking about. So I remember a theory that the nurse in, the, in there is uh, Christy, which makes sense. Was there a cutscene, or why why did that do that? Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is a really cool scene. The camera angle and everything. This is so terrifying, because like. It's implied that this handicapped man came out of the, uh, the elevator, was fucking shot up like a thousand times. Look how many bullet holes there are. And then just the last legs of his life were just spent clabbering that way. And it was recent too, because uh, the wheelchair leg was still spinning. Leg, the wheelchair wheel. Uh, we got some submachine bullets. Uh, I, I, I don't think I ever used the submachine gun. Cause there's only like 30 bullets for it in the whole game. No, I think you pick up more in the Amusement Park too. It's all just junk. I don't think there's anything important here. Yeah, uh, there's this. So uh, there's a code written behind the thing and you have to use the disposable camera, instant camera. Oh, unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. such a stock photo <laughs> camera sound effect. Three one seven eight. And that's the code for uh floor number three. It's in the rest of these. I don't know if that had anything to do with uh the blood trail continues into the elevator. Into? Part of me wants to peek in but then that's a little creepy too. Huh. I wonder if uh, someone shot someone and then someone went to the elevator and then... Oh, wait. I wonder if the person was shot here and crawled his way into the elevator. That that might make more sense. But then why are the bullet holes here? I don't know. A very gruesome scene. Oh. Uh... Hang on one second. I might be able to extreme, uh, improve the quality of the stream by uh, hardwiring my internet. Hang on a second.